walked away from religion when it was forced down my throat at residential school. I repeated the same prayers, sang the same hymns, and despised how much control the church had over the people. I always knew that we Nitsitibi had a different worldview from the Napikwans, but still I went to church because my parents wanted me to. My faith was challenged when my mother passed away. I lost it, bearing witness to her slow defeat to the cancer. When my first daughter, Amber, was born, my faith came back so I could be a mother and deal with the church's judgment for unwed mothers. Appa Studoki sent Dad to me. We repaired our relationship through love for Amber. You were ageless to me, Dad, but Appa Studoki took you away. Again, I became undone. My belief in a true loving God dissipated into thin air again. My husband and I moved to Edmonton in 1992 and I missed the sanctity of the mountains. In this blue collar city, it felt like industrial disease spewed everywhere. At this time, our indigenous women were being killed at a rate that was shameful for any civilized society. Canadians turned a blind eye to the cries of our mourning families. Sacred Heart Church became the meeting place to pay homage to the fallen sisters. In February, we gathered to take back the night. We meant to bury our dead. Eventually, I started to see how community becomes spiritual family. I listened to the songs sung in Cree and saw all the people who gathered and prayed. I go home during the summer to participate as a witness to our Ogan, but have not entered into any societies because again, I feel like an outsider looking into my world. When the church enforced their English onto us, my Blackfoot language was filed in the back of my mind. My late cousin Narses reminded me, Roxanne, you grew up hearing Blackfoot. Flip your tongue and remember the language. Pray that it comes back to you. This last year I went home and ended up staying in the chapel that is now a thrift store and laundromat. I had some spooking in there, but I knew they can't hurt me if I don't fear them. They are lost, but in the spiritual world. I pray that they find their way home. I do not want to be in that spiritual trap, so I pray. My beliefs lie in my native spirituality, where nature is my church. I love that Sacred Heart acknowledges that we can choose to smudge or receive the Eucharist. I love that the sweet grass, the drum, the eagle fan, and the medicine wheel honor the Indigenous belief system. But everyone is welcome. I love the interior of the church and the sanctity of the space. This is my mountain in the middle of the city my rock.